Welcome to the Resale World video on how to do simple transaction through the Liberty 5 POS. First, we would have to sign into the Liberty POS by clicking the Liberty POS icon. Once at the welcome screen, you will notice that we have multiple options here, but we will be clicking New Sale. Once we click New Sale, we are with the option of signing in. Once we're signed in, now you will see we're at the point of sale module. On the sale screen, we are faced with three scenarios for customer transactions. One is that the customer is an existing consigner who may wish to use in-store credit. If you click customer, you can search the customer and add them for the transaction. The second scenario is the customer who would be interested in using a rewards plan or be a future consigner with your store and thus you would need to add them as a new customer. You would click the customer button again, go to the add account button, and you would fill in the information pertinent to that person who wished to be a new consigner with your store. For the purpose of this video, we'll be using Type 3, where the customer is a quick sale customer and are in the store in front of your POS and at the counter. When the customer is at your counter, you can scan their item's price tag or you can type the item number into the POS. Once entered, the item has a few features I would like to mention. If you click the item, you will notice a pop-up will come up with three options. You can remove the item. See the details of the item or actually change the pricing and information about the item. So if you had a discount that you wanted to apply or if you wanted to make the item a tax exempt item, you could do it at this screen. Now that we have the item listed, let's pay for it. For credit card pay, you would select the credit card of choice and instruct the customer to follow the terminal instructions. If the person has a check and would like to utilize a check, you would click the check button and you would type in the information pertinent to that check and click OK and of course the balance forward for that price would appear. For the cash and gift certificate the process is similar. In the display you would type the amount the customer gives you for the gift certificate. Then you would click gift certificate. The amount would show the difference at the bottom of your screen for the balance due. Now for cash, in the display, you would type the amount that the customer gives you for the balance and then you would click cash. Once the obligation has been fulfilled for this transaction, you can then click finish or press F10. You can either print a receipt or not print a receipt based on the customer's desire. Once you've printed the receipt, the screen will then show you if there's any change due and the amount that you need to give to the customer. This is how to do a transaction in Liberty 5 POS system. Thank you.